August 23, 2021. An emergency meeting of the CSTO Collective Security Council is held by video conference. The session is hosted by Tajikistan's president, Emma Mali Rahman. The topic is the situation in Afghanistan that's been aggravated since the US withdrawal. The Taliban are taking over, which is imposing a real threat throughout Central Asia, particularly in Tajikistan, which shares more than 1,340 kilometers of border with Afghanistan. The issue is also covered at a face-to-face -face CSTO session three weeks later in Dushanbe. National leaders discuss what measures the organization should take to avert the terrorist threat. This is why in October 2021, the Tajik training ground Khardmaidon which is 20 kilometers from the Afghan border, held perhaps the biggest ever collective rapid reaction force maneuvers. They combined several exercises, such as cooperation, search, and echelon. The exercise scenario is that a terrorist group is trying to cross the border. The collective forces are tasked to eliminate them. We were in arsenal of которые оставили там натовские войска и союзники после своего вывода. И, конечно, сейчас повышаются риски расползания этого оружия, его просто-напросто разворовывание, продажа по всему Афганистану, да и за пределы. As part of its anti-terrorism role, CSTO forces conduct annual cobalt military exercises. And since 2019, Operation Mercenary. It's known that descendants of the ISIS terrorist organization, which is banned in Russia, are trying to move from Syria into the post-Soviet states. Афганская проблематика должна оставаться в центре нашего постоянного внимания и анализа. На этом направлении необходима реализация всего комплекса политико-дипломатических и военно-технических мер обеспечения безопасности. Terrorists rely on threat, torture, and murder. They use the same methods as criminal gangs, and to fight organized crime, the Special Rapid Reaction Unit, or SOBER, was formed in Russia in the 1990s. In 1993, it was renamed Lynx. За 30 лет существования СОБР участвовал во всех громких антитеррористических мероприятиях, где появлялась оперативная информация об угрозе какой-то террористической или экстремистской направленности. Мы срочно вылетали туда. To this day, Lynx operatives carry out the hardest tasks, which means the requirements are also high. The unit has 12 masters of sport, mainly sharpshooters and martial artists. They haven't yet faced a difficult task from the CSTO. That's why they practice eliminating targets on the training ground. However, almost everything is very real. Каждая страна на территории которой проводится данное учение, она примерно знает уровень террористической угрозы. То есть с какой стороны это может произойти, какими силами, какими средствами. Terrorist groups often live on drug trafficking, another serious threat facing Central Asian countries. So the CSTO has to address it. The volumes of seized drugs and the number of illegal operations are increasing. This is proven by statistics from Operation Canal, which CSTO forces conduct every year. Right now, Muzaffar Mozoyev is preparing to test a service dog. Fella, a Russian spaniel, must find simulations of three different drug types. Various dog breeds serve with the Presidential Drug Control Agency's canine unit in Tajikistan. They're not just man's best friend, but also loyal comrades-in-arms, junior partners. 
an experienced dog handler always knows what to expect from his dog. Tajikistan's neighbor, Afghanistan, is the world's leader, so to speak, in heroin production. Afghanistan занял лидирующую позицию в мире по производству опия. Это основной ингредиент для героина, производства героина. И в среде вот мировых поставщиков героина, ну, 80% это Афганистан. In 2019, Afghanistan set a sad record for the decade. The country produced more than 6,500 tons of opium, a figure provided by the UN Office on Drugs and Crime. There's a massive flow of drugs into Russia and Europe from Afghanistan, including through Tajikistan. It flows through secret mountain paths that intelligence agencies can't always block. Dogs are indispensable helpers here. Not only can they detect drugs, they can apprehend an offender too. A handler and his dog are a team, with the human as the boss. But there's a paradox. It works best when it's not the person who chooses the animal, but the other way around. If the dog is the owner, the owner is the owner. Because we look at the beauty of the dog, and the dog looks at our character, our character, our temperament, our aura, our tonality. Then there will be a friendship between them. The place! Everything. Good. Every year, the Tajik dog handlers join military exercises under the CSTO flag. In 2021, the active phase of maneuvers took place in September in the Armenian mountains at the Armenian Ministry of Defense's Marshal Bagramyan training ground. Russian Special Forces operatives trained here with Tajik specialists. Учения ДХБ очень важны для того, чтобы я мог понимать на случай переброски нашего подразделения там, в другие страны, как мы будем работать, с каким оружием мы будем работать, какой местность будет. Антон is one of the most experienced operatives with the Grom Special Unit, part of Russia's Drugs Police. His main speciality is a machine gunner and EOD specialist. Каждый сотрудник старается обучиться в взрывотехнике, альпинистской подготовке. То есть мы все это сдаем, всему этому учимся. In his youth, Anton was an art student. He later worked in art restoration, and now his hobby is marketry or decorative woodwork. Когда делаю картину, отвлекаюсь именно на нее. То есть думаю, о ней думаю, что там, какие цвета я буду вставлять. То есть как это будет выглядеть. Чем я буду покрывать ее? Кому я ее подарю, может быть? Для кого я это делаю? У меня есть картины мечты, которые я создал. Ну, это большая икона Христа. Anton is one of Grom's hand-to-hand combat instructors, but his commander Roman is the leading expert. Roman has years of combat experience. He loves risk but hardly tells his family anything about his work to spare their feelings. They know that I'm going to work. They don't know where I work. They've already been used to it, probably. The most difficult thing is when you go to the numbers, then you have a sigh, a sigh, and so on. In truth, the unit has been lucky in terms of incidents. Какие-то мелкие ранения были, да, но у нас все последние 10 лет ну, живы. Никто не погиб за 10 лет, никого. Все живы и здоровы, слава Богу. Operatives admit that they enjoy CSTO missions, which are usually training exercises when they see familiar faces and meet comrades in arms.